and welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. This is a comic book show where I take a book that I've read and I break it down for two folk who have no context for it, and we have some fun times. They ask some questions that normal comic book fans normally wouldn't ask. And so today we're going to talk about Morbius the Living Vampire because I live in the wrong timeline. <laughs> they made yep. a Morbius movie. How does it feel knowing that you're in the a wrong time timeline? timeline that's Destined to be like broken by the dragon. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is it? Are we in the dark multiverse? It feels like it sometimes. Uh, I think we are at this point. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, great. I was on the fence for a little while, but now definitely. <laughs> Morbius pushed it over the line. He really did. So I thought we'd talk about like the only story worth a damn starring Morbius, which is his <laughs> first appearance. Because it's a Spider-Man story. It's a Spider-Man story. Yeah. There and you go. There's a lot of interesting like baggage associated with Morbius because like, you know, he's got this vexing title it's morbius the living vampire like yeah like are all yeah. vampire uh, vampires should be unliving correct? right because the right, vampires different. are dead he's different yeah and there, and there are a lot of people because he's created by science that's the ah. idea he's a scientifically bent vampire okay science is just we found an explanation for why you became a vampire <laughs> no 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 no. this is very all different. vampires later on are living vampires this is a di he is a different vampire than like dracula or your basic Nosferatu. Uh, in fact- Are Dracula and Nosferatu mar vampires in the Marvel Universe? They are, but they wouldn't <laughs> be until after Morbius. Morbius oh. paved the way for Dracula and vampires to enter the Marvel Universe. Look at all these Draculas Look at all these here. Draculas running around. That being said, people have a really uh, interesting misconception about Morbius. They're like, ah, he's a living vampire. He's made by science because they needed to skirt past the comics code, which said you can't use vampires. There's just a blanket. There's a, like a no vampires, no vampires rule. rule. Uh, after like the 70s, the comics code kind of eased up on their restrictions, and this allowed for vampires and Draculas and werewolves and monsters to appear in comic books again. So they called all the monsters. They called all the monsters. Ah. But the reason why they even jumped on it was because apparently Stan Lee really wanted Dracula in the Marvel Universe. Well, they already had a Batman over at DC. Let's make sure we have a vampire. Batman's not a vampire. He's not? But Stan also really wanted Morbius. Like, he insists, he's like, I want to get a vampire character in here, and he's got to have all these powers, and he's got to do all these things. Wait, so, like, did Morbius come before Blade? Morbius came before Blade and Dracula in the Marvel Universe. Huh, that's funny. Oh, no. Yeah. I was like, well, they had a vampire hunter, right. and then they had Morbius? Yeah. No, no. no. It's the other way around. That's right, and Blade doesn't even show up and deal with Morbius until way after he deals with Dracula and stuff. Hmm. I mean, priorities. That's true. Well, also, you know, Morbius is a living vampire. He's a science fiction villain. He's he's a Spider-Man villain. Right. You know, but incidentally, at, shortly after his appearance and then subsequent, like, demise, they kind of moved him over to another book that was more about horror anyway. And, like, that really enriched his backstory. And then they were like, all right, well, you're fully formed. Now you can go back to the Marvel Universe right. and be a regular character in this. Although, he has as much of an origin story that's put together as anyone else in the Marvel Universe anyway. Right. Based on, like, one issue, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, two, oh, actually. Two issues, okay. Well, because he has to be introduced, and then they're like, oh, okay, well, the next then, issue will be his origin. We'll deal with it. We'll yeah. explain to you who he is and why he's doing this. Right. I can't wait to see Jared Leto in that costume in the movie. <laughs> Me too. Me too. He looks like Hordak. There's no way they're going to put this costume in there. Uh, I love it because they actually have an in-canon reason for him wearing this costume, and it's not because he wants to look like some pro wrestling vampire. No, it's because Spider-Man brought back the webbing under the armpits. He's like, hey, cool, I can wear my cool cape. Actually, Spider-Man can't have the webbing because of his affliction, which we'll get into right now. So this comes hot on the heels of Amazing Spider-Man number 100. Uh, Spider-Man celebrating his centennial. Uh, only 10 short issues later, will Stanley stop writing Spider-Man? Oh. Like he's off the book. But you can feel Stanley being like, ah, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, and uh, he, uh, uh, so issue 100, you know, Spider-Man's 100th issue, and in the issue, he's swinging around, and he goes, this is kind of fucking boring. <laughs> Here I am, I'm swinging from building to building, and I'm, cra I'm catching crooks. It's kind of all the same. Kinda just, it kind of blurs together. You know what? Maybe I'll just stop. You know, I'm dating Gwen. I gotta get serious with her. I'm kind of responsible for her father's death. It's gonna be really complicated and awkward to explain to her that I'm Spider-Man because she hates Spider-Man because Spider-Man's involved in his death. No, so and I don't want to stop. stop. So maybe I'll just stop and I'll just lie to her for yeah. just never You're tell like, her that no, I'm, I was Spider-Man. I'm Peter Parker. Yeah. I'm always Peter Parker. I mean, that's yeah. a solid plan. Yeah, Spider-Man eventually went away. Plan. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I was working on a cure for my spider powers. 
Oh. So now so I he, guess I'm going to oh, get serious about it. He didn't want to have the responsibility anymore. Yeah, if I get rid of the responsibility, if I get rid of the powers, I won't have the responsibility, I won't have to be Spider-Man anymore, and I won't have to explain to Gwen that I was Spider-Man, because I'm not Spider-Man. I don't have the powers anymore. Right. Also, like, I, I just have, lie to her forever. I don't want Spider-Babies. No. Although, I mean, it's genetic, Fair enough. man. But he's, yeah. he's trying to alter his entire biochemistry Yeah, he's going to anyway. return his biology back. back to where it was before the spider stuff. Yes. Nice healthy dose of radiation. That's right. Yeah. He, there, no radiation involved. All it involves is some test tubes, some Bunsen burners, some chemicals, a couple of complicated looking machines. The healthy dose of science. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I get some science in there. So he whips some science together and then immediately, like he's like, okay, well I've got it and for Gwen, drink. And I'm like, dude, no, this is for you. Don't blame Gwen. Don't drag her into this. Don't right. make this all her fault, okay? Right. For sex! <laughs> Listen, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it seems Pass yeah. says that he never does have sex with her, but like, he's definitely having sex with her. And so like, please, he's definitely doing that. But hey, like- man, hasn't he ever heard of like a lab rat? Like a mouse or something? No time, like, Just to make sure it doesn't whoa, whoa, whoa. immediately die. I no. can't give something this antidote. It doesn't have spider powers. Yeah, it wouldn't mean anything. Yeah, what's I have to give something spider powers first and right? then give it the antidote. Yeah, where's the control? So I just mean to make sure it's not immediately poisonous. Yes, he downs the formula. Yeah, and then he immediately goes to bed and he's like, "When I wake up, I'll never be the same again." And then in issue one hundred, remember we're celebrating Amazing Spider-Man. He, yeah, there's a crazy amount of, of the issues. The issue. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, it's a, time he's a household to end. name. I, right, we get a entire issue where he has a fever dream where he battles villains and he faces against George Stacy, Gwen's dad, who's like, I knew you were Spider-Man. He's like, I know, why are you talking to me? He's like, because you have power and with great power comes great responsibility. You shouldn't what? get rid of your spider power. He's like, but I already drank it. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it, oh no. It's just, it's a complete nightmare. And I love it because in the following issue, Stan Lee writes the already classic dream sequence from our last incredible issue. Like he is already patting He's himself on the back. It a classic. Classic dream sequence. Everyone's favorite dream sequence is in Amazing Spider-Man number 100. I a just classic. finished it. I know it's going to be perfect. Having read it, not exactly a classic. <laughs> it, it, it's fun. Gil Kane draws How it. How dare you, sir? Fly in the face of history. But like, Spider-Man <laughs> fights a bunch of villains, including Green Goblin. You know, it's just everybody's just yelling at him and talking it's a lot about of how stuff. It's just like this is going to be your life unless you get rid of your powers. Blah blah blah. It doesn't matter. But what point, the, the point is, when he wakes up, he has four extra arms. <laughs> yeah, because what if Spider-Man had as many? limbs as, as a, spider. a spider would have. Shouldn't two of those be legs? Whatever. The, the point <laughs> is that this serum- That's your problem with this? <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, even yeah. it out. Well, that no. would be harder to draw. Yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> to is, figure out how he would see, walk on four legs. this is fun. Like, this is fun to draw, not right. a fucking mess. <laughs> that being said, it is kind of a I mean, mess. It's also a mess. What are you talking about? Centaurs have four legs and two arms. Yeah, but the, just two it's just four another horse extra men. pair in there, yeah. <laughs> So, the horses are hard to draw. Yeah. Okay, there have definitely been cartoon That's characters true. that we have seen with four legs. Yeah, all right, all right. They get four legs, he has four arms. He has six arms. He has six arms, six arms four arms extra arms. and two legs. Right. Yay, Peter Parker has six arms. And I love the, the compartmentalization. Does he call them the Sinister Six? No, he doesn't. Does he punch people and there's one for everybody? <laughs> I'll give you the Sinister Six. Did the Sinister no. Six even exist at this point? Yeah, they pre predate this. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically Stan was like, how about if the first six villains that Spider-Man fought all just team up and punch him? Except not at once. They all fight him like one at a time. Mm. Oh yeah, they want to be fair. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, he's he's got these he's got these arms. Oh my god. He was just about to quit yeah. for really flimsy reasoning. But yeah. he was like, I guess I'm done. I love it. Just it just it's inspired by I'm bored. I'm bored. I guess I'm I, I guess that's the test that proves that I don't want to be Spider-Man anymore. Right. Don't worry, I'll fix this. Oh no! Oh no! How am I gonna bang Gwen now? Yeah. <laughs> Basically that things like, are worse than ever now. They, <laughs> And they are, because, <laughs> you know, as you can tell from the cover of the immortal Amazing Spider-Man number 101, he doesn't just have six arms to contend with, he also has Morbius the Living Vampire, or a monster called Morbius. As but, if my problems weren't terrible enough. Yeah, well, it's bad enough. Like, we just set up this really interesting new status quo for Spider-Man, you know, four extra arms, <laughs> and we're gonna introduce a brand new villain to his roster. Oh, come on, Gwen, no, this could be great for us. Think of all the <laughs> hanky-panky we can get into. Yeah, right, and it's the, it, it's the, it's the swing in 70s, so there's a lot of heavy petting going on. <laughs> but, but I love the images. Gil Kane's art is spectacular in this amazing Spider-Man book. But the image of Spider-Man, like, just, just 
horrified by the extra arms. They like make little like, gestures in front oh, of him. Like, like he like, doesn't control them? No. Or they're, it's like unconscious. It's like unconscious. He can't He's it like, out yet. oh yeah. my God, all these extra limbs. Yeah. No. So I got body horror in this freaking Spider-Man comic. I mean, now? why not? You've already you're gonna introduce a vampire. Yes. Get some body horror in here. Yeah. So he's just like, I am fucked. What am I gonna do? And he's just like, I, buy I, more deodorant. I, I <laughs> right. He's gonna need at least four <laughs> times the deodorant. I've never seen Spider-Man more melodramatic than when he gets four extra arms. And what, now I gotta say, <laughs> okay. if you get four extra yeah. limbs, you're allowed to be melodramatic. You, you can you can muse about. Your oh, Kafka. woe is me. Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> This is really interesting, and like like you said, it is body horror. And when I was, I, I I had like a reprint of this. This is a True Believer, which is like a reprint of an old book, but like made cheaply for people today. Right. I had a reprint of this from a long time ago, <laughs> and I read this like as a small child, and. The conundrum of I've just drank a serum that I didn't test and didn't create an antidote for, and now I have four more arms. Yeah. And what am I going to do? The yeah. childlike musings of Peter Parker were <laughs> reverberating in my small child's Well, I gotta go to school tomorrow. Yeah. What am I gonna do? That's right. Yeah. And it's just like, it is horror. And it's like, it's you know a what really the body fun, horror would be? It's just junior body horror. Cutting them off. Yeah, right. Oh. There is there is no scenario. Yeah, right? There's really? no scenario where he considers this. There's he's just like, I have four extra arms. This is my life. This now. is my life now. Like, dude, there's amputations. That is yeah. a that is a procedure. This is actually one of the more fixable problems you've had. Right, but he's like, but I have to I'll have to go right. have to, to a hospital and explain and, and to tell they're gonna that take I my made blood. a formula and didn't test it well, and just drank it, and they'll be like, Why would you do that? Why That's would you so do that? stupid. Yeah, no, he's not upset that he has to explain his stupid uh, poor decision making. It's that he'll be out in a Spider Man. Oh, well, yes. Oh no, they will. No, well, I guess he could. No, because he could. He doesn't have to wear the suit. He can just be like, "I'm Peter Parker. I, uh, I don't know. I was a school project. I or fell in some chemicals. Yeah, I cosmic fell, rays. I fell in a vat of chemicals. I went to the Baxter Building and I got like zapped by a ray. I <laughs> mean, or just go lie. to read and ask like, him. For I help. woke up one day and I had extra arms. What <laughs> right. I, I'm just a normal kid from Queens. And How could this happen? Yeah, the doctor being like, I mean, there's Hulks and Captain Americas and yeah, Spider Man. Why, why not? Sure, you're the six arms <laughs> kid. Get me the bone saw. And you know what they say. Bone saws ready! <laughs> Steve, that's really inappropriate. This poor man's suffering enough. <laughs> but I've got the bone saw ready! I wish somebody else was certified to use that thing. I've got you for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Under anesthesia. He's interrupted with his monologue by getting a call from Gwen, who's just like, basically the conversation is, I am gonna fuck your brains out. <laughs> right Guess now. what? Guess what, Peter? Tonight's the <laughs> night. I'm gonna take you around the friggin' world, Parker. It is gonna happen to you. <laughs> and she's literally, she is celebrating the birthday of a noted 70s feminist named Betty Friedman. I'm going to be a liberated woman. And as a liberated woman, I'm gonna take you out to dinner. I'm gonna take you to an R-rated movie. <laughs> And then okay, we're, but an R-rated movie uh, in the 70s was like hardcore porn, uh, right? But in, in New York City, big time. And maybe you can cover my eyes during the spicy parts. Uh. Oh my god. And he's just like, oh no. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other arm's like helping him. I was like, stop, stop! <laughs> but like, uh, all I can no, imagine no, are two no, of no, all no, coming no. apart. Yeah, and two just, of the arms are pulling the South Park Mel Gibson being like, eh, baby oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They had just gotten back together, by the way. So it's like, it's makeup sex time. Uh. And he is just like, okay, uh... I, I can't see you. I'm actually going out of town. And she's like, Peter, are you okay? Is it something I did? And he goes, why? You got a guilty conscience? This dude- Are you shitting me? <laughs> this dude ruins women's lives. It's amazing. <laughs> just to see how thoughtless he can be. And just, cause he's just trying to get her off the phone. But it's right. like, just say, Gwen, listen, we've been dating a long time. I got the muds real bad. <laughs> All right? And I, the, the cord doesn't reach far enough. And I don't want you to see this. It's like it's like a crime scene in here. So I just I, I can't. I can't okay. right now. All you do is just you take don't answer the phone. <laughs> no, no, you answer the phone. She, she wants to take you out. Yeah. Fine. I am getting some of that like elastic like uh, whatever you would use to like bandage yourself. Oh no. And I'm essentially going to wrap no. the extra two four arms oh. around my body. Uh -huh. I'll have the other two up here. I'll be like, I got bruised in the ribs. There's padding over Dude. here. Let's get this on. They're getting it. They're getting down. You can take that shirt off. There's no freaking way. I thought you were gonna like. like why are you, you gonna... so gigantic? Yeah. What happened? What's happening to you? And it's then, padding. What if like they start getting down and then he just well because those arms they're they're new. You know they haven't they haven't they haven't they felt. Mind their That's own. why you bind them tight. No no no. no. He's gonna he's gonna Doctor Manhattan her. <laughs> 
So yeah, well, you know, maybe she'll kind of she, dig it, yeah. and then like that'll help ease the whole thing. You know? Come on, like, Parker. Maybe maybe she's a freak. You don't know. <laughs> Oh, Peter! Yeah, like, so many extra hands. If she yeah. just saw them, she'd be like, "Ah!" But right, if, right. like, you know, it's they the did something moment, for her, you know? and then yeah. she discovered them, she'd be like, "Oh, well, well I mean, uh, it was pretty cool. <laughs> I guess it's cool." Yeah, we'll deal with this later. Hey, yeah. I thought you wanted to be a liberated woman. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So anyway, he gets her off the phone and she's just having a complete existential crisis. Yeah, because he was so weird. Because he's so weird. So yeah, weird. He's got a guilty asshole. conscience. What a jackass. Yeah. So then he's like, oh, well, I mean, on the bright side, I can, you know, if I learn to use these arms, I could be a way better Spider-Man. I'm like, bitch, a freaking issue ago, you were like, I'm done being Spider-Man and I'm gonna marry Gwen. <laughs> now he's like, are you cheating on me? So he's like, yeah. But then if I am Spider-Man and I get used to it, then he imagines himself having sewn four extra sleeves to his Peter Parker outfit, going to visit Aunt May and just killing her. Just, just what? her keeling over from the sight of Peter oh, Parker with four extra arms. Right. Yeah. Plus, yeah. then I'll actually look like a monster and like everybody who says that I'm an asshole in the press is gonna be right because I'd look like a freak. Right, they'll be like, see, look at his extra arms. I told you he was a monster. I, that's, <laughs> I'll, I'll get like, Ben Grimm on my side though. Yeah, yeah, right, and Ben's like, ew. Ew! Look at you! <laughs> You're made of fucking rocks! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> That's very much in keeping with Peter Parker's character at this time. What other lives can I ruin? Hey, give me the least little, sh like, little tiny bit of shit. Fuck you, I always hated you. <laughs> oh, Fork God. Earth! I am not your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. No! Are we gonna talk about Morbius at some point? <laughs> Morbius is coming, man! He's on his way! I yeah, promise. It's gonna it's, take a real downturn when we do because this is awesome. This is the, and this he's is a the fucking vampire. <laughs> so he gets another call and he goes, who else can I tell to kiss off? Like, what other lives can I ruin when I answer this phone? And he picks up and it's Robbie Robertson under the behest of Jonah who wants Peter to do a job. He's, he's getting an opportunity to make some cash. He's like, listen, I need you to get to a place. There was a, there was a foiled bank heist and Everyone else is covering some crazy fire that's going out of control, which we never see, by the way. There's a raging inferno in the city that has taken the, 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 the attention of every Bugle photographer. But there's also a bank heist that just got foiled and Peter needs to go take a picture of that. Now Peter could, as Spider-Man, swing by, snap some shots, leave, and slip some photos under the door, make a few quick buck. But instead he's like, I have four extra arms. There's no way I can do that. So instead he says, F you, actually I'm gonna be leaving. I'm sick and I'm leaving town. Oh. And I don't know when I'm gonna be back. So he's just ruined his entire career. Why and is he burning every bridge? <laughs> because he's got four extra arms. Right. He's just all, he's all out of sorts. Because life is over. Yeah. Oh man. man, I gotta I gotta end every relationship in my life. God yeah. damn it. Clearly, Peter. It's the only way out. Peter's in a weird place. I mean, like uh, again, an issue ago, he's like, I'm bored being Spider Man. I guess I'll quit. <laughs> I guess I'll marry Gwen. <laughs> Yeah, that was some pre four arms thinking. Yeah. Right there. Everything's different now. Yeah. The whole world's upside down. How great would yeah. it be if he's like. I'm gonna pretend to be the Spider Boy. Yeah. Like, come see the freaky Spider Boy. He says boy. that. He says go. that. He says, step this way. It's old folks, only 25 cents and two box tops to see the human spider. Although, I will say, mm. when he, when he, like, because he's carrying on about, like, right. how, oh, this isn't a problem for me. He then descends into weeping, where he says, right. step right up and look at the freak. It just, it's, it's really actually well executed. Yeah. Like, I buy that he is really upset. Yeah. And, like, who wouldn't be? Right. Yeah. Understandably <laughs> so. Weirdly relatable. Yeah. Well, it would be hilarious. <laughs> it's it's suspiciously relatable. Yeah. It's right after he answers the phone, three arms reach for it. He just knocks it on the floor. He's like, oh, yeah. God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I, I love stop, how stop, stop, the stop, arms stop. will help him out without him thinking. Like, he will be, he will be, like, you know, monologuing about the, the, the woes of his life and the arm will be like holding his head <laughs> while he's thinking about something else. And like another two arms, arms are like making breakfast. Making a sandwich, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, oh, what am I gonna do? Thank you. And ah, no, I hate you. I don't want you to be here. But I was hungry. Uh, you are really useful though. <sighs> yeah. Oh God, am I even more responsible now? <laughs> because that's the other thing that Uncle Ben used to tell him, you know, when they were fishing. He's like, oh, and by the way, if you ever grow four extra arms, <laughs> that's every even more set power. of that's arms the, adds like, another, another element like, uh, times 10 of responsibility. responsibility. Yeah. Tenfold? <laughs> oh shit. Geez. <laughs> so Robbie is like, uh, I'm really worried about Peter. And Jonah's like, who's worried about me? Come on. So Peter's like, well, it's been 10 minutes as a human centipede. Yikes. He's like, I can't stay in my apartment. I have to go someplace else. And it's like, why? But uh, uh, he, he's, he's then no, like, I, I just got to get out of here. I just got to get out of here. here. here I'm, I'm, like, I'm scratching the walls. Yeah. But, this is uh, where the arms came from. This place is not safe. That's right. No, the arms came from the lab. <laughs> this is the lab. He did it in his apartment. <laughs> 
Oh, you fool. <laughs> so he goes, wait a minute, I remember Kirk Connors, the lizard, formerly the lizard. He actually just got cured in another, another adventure. Mm. And he's in the Florida Everglades right now, just kind of like laying low. But he owes me a favor and he said, if I want to stay in one of his houses in the Hamptons, I could just call him up and use it. Now, of course, he did that with Spider-Man, but whatever. Right. So, well, I'll just call him up and be like, hey, it's Spider-Man. That's what he does. Right. Yeah, he calls Kirk Connors and Kirk Connors is like, uh-huh, Spider-Man, huh? Yeah, I'll believe that one. He goes, okay, uh, I know you're the lizard, motherfucker. <laughs> If, oh. if you said, <laughs> oh, you Spider -Man, Spider -Man, huh? yeah, if yeah, you sorry. said to Spider-Man at one time, like, hey, if you ever need a favor and you need to lay out, yeah. lay low, you can use them in my house. Right. Phone call. Hey, it's Spider-Man. I need to use your house. Bullshit, it's Spider-Man. <laughs> this is my cousin, isn't it? You're never going to get that house, okay? She left it to me. No one else knows of this deal. <laughs> I'm still suspicious. Yeah, people call me up all the time claiming to be Spider-Man and asking me for stuff. Asking me to for, very common. for stuff to stay in my sweet house in the Hamptons. <laughs> He's like, yeah, go ahead. Knock yourself out. It'll be fine. Yeah, sure, whatever. He doesn't even want time. Connor's help. No. He just wants to use his house. He just wants to hide in his house. In Connor's is a... a <laughs> he's greed. He's turned himself into a monster and, and <laughs> got rid of a limb. He's, he's grown and he, he's, a, he's a specialist when oh it comes to God, growing and getting like, rid of limbs. Oh, yeah, so he's going to use him no, to help him with this problem. I want to oh. go to his house and stay there for a little while. I've got a problem, Connor's. Only you can help me. I need somewhere to crash. <laughs> He hangs up on him and he goes like, I can't stay on the phone long enough for me to tell him about what's wrong with me because I can't let anybody know what's happened to me. Right. Just don't Not say Not even it. the one man who can no. what, what is it about having four extra limbs just makes Nine extra arms. things out? I just can't. <laughs> so he goes, all right, uh, I guess I'll take a train. Wait, I'll take a bus. Wait, I can't. Cause like, what if I'm wearing a trench coat hiding my arms and I like a breeze, Marilyn Monroe's me and they see all my arms. You have four extra arms. You use the arms to keep the coat closed. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you've clearly thought about this more than he has. But, uh, yeah, you also I, can't control the arms, though. They might no. start just wandering around. Yeah, start grabbing people. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I like grabbing people. <laughs> clearly, that's a butt. Well, well they attention. are lower than his arms. Exactly. So there's going to be something down there. Yeah. And he goes out there, and he starts web swinging. And uh, someone's like, look at that freak. No. He's got extra arms. Nobody sees him as Spider-Man. Uh, but the arms are, like, freaking out. You know, they're grabbing for stuff. And he's like, ah. Why would they... Why does he not control them? I don't quite understand that It's just because they're new. He, I, okay. He's not a baby. Like he knows baby how arms. limbs they're, work. No, it's just... Not these limbs, though. He knows how his normal limbs work. I mean, work. I know how to move my two arms. If you added two more arms to the equation, I feel like it'd be kind of complicated. I'd be like, which one goes where? Yeah, but wouldn't they be Your mostly like... Your brain has to be trained to know... Wouldn't they be like inert rather yeah, than like doing their own thing? I mean, that'd be more Nerves gross. are connected to them. They're just, just... It's impulse. <laughs> yeah, no. They're just... I would think they'd move like you move them at the same time. Like they right. mimic what your arms are doing. Yeah. Like when you move, you try to like isolate right. your you fingers. Try to like, yeah, do and two like, things yeah you would have yeah. to concentrate on like which one to move. Yeah. Exactly. Unlike, I guess when you're a baby, like you're reaching for things, you usually use both hands. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, I don't have a baby. Yeah, so Spider-Man swings to the train and he rides the trains yeah. to oh, get to like you're not to supposed to do. Yes, and in fact, uh, <laughs> they say sometime later, uh, the Long Island Railroad loses a somewhat colorful passenger and no, he didn't pay the fare. <laughs> I'm like, thanks for the clarification, Stan. Yeah. So he arrives and he's like, Jesus. No, every time he does that on a train, he makes sure to like, put five bucks money in the conductor. In, yeah. Peter had, doesn't have two nickels to scratch together. There's no way he pays the fare. <laughs> but uh, he arrives at Connor's estate and it's just like a big Norman Bates-esque house. And he's like, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> So he goes in and he's like, all right. And meanwhile. That thing is hideous. It is. It's it looks haunted. It's boarded up. That's because this book is about to be a backdoor creature feature. So a mile off the coast of where this house is in the Hamptons mm -hmm. is a ship. And this ship has picked up a suspicious passenger, a man who went overboard that they brought on who was ghostly. It's Morbius. They picked up Morbius. They picked up Morbius. And uh, so everyone who is working on the boat is topside and they're all talking. They're all like a meeting outside without Morbius. <laughs> and they're talking about how the captain's dead. And they're like, oh, geez, what's going on? He's like, we all know what's going on. That pale freak that we got downstairs in steerage killed him somehow. So let's let's pull him up topside and beat the living hell out of him. Sure. That's yeah, it. Certain, what, certainly wasn't one of you guys who was nope. just vying for the captain position. Uh, nope. So they just, they, and uh, by the way, like. They, they are going to explain this, right? Yeah. yeah like yeah, how yeah. he gets on the boat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know why. I think it's just because there are four extra arms on Spider-Man and he didn't like sew a Spider-Man costume with more sleeves. Mm -hmm. But like just the, you really notice Gil Kane's attention to detail on arms. Like there's just all these gnarled arms that are like, right. just, like just clenched fists ready for action. I'm just like, 
it's a haunting book. I love this book. Mm. I, I don't know why, but like any case, they, they go down to Steerage, they find Morbius, who is, he looks like Morbius, but he has like, fl like pink fleshy skin tone. Okay. Uh, it's not until like he vampires out that he becomes the, the ghostly white Morbius we see on the cover. Okay. But so he goes from pink to white. Yes. Okay. But he's like, please, I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, it's and like reverse like, sunburn. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, help you, we're gonna kick your ass. And so they all just like dog pile on to him. <laughs> And starts like wailing on him, and they're like, "This dude moves like he's half asleep. I don't get it." And it's because he hasn't he hasn't fed in a while, and so his like his movements are sluggish. They're not as oh. fast as he like normally is or could be. Okay. Also, uh, he's crossing the ocean. Yeah, vampire shouldn't be crossing running water, he right? Can't run crossing water. No, this is a this is a living vampire made from science, <laughs> yeah. not a he classic. He doesn't have any of the weaknesses of he, a vampire. Yeah, he's got all the benefits. Like the sun makes him kind of weak, but it doesn't kill him or burn him in any way. Okay. So, so he, they did this, and they're just like, we should, we should develop this more. Create a new character who doesn't have any of the weaknesses of the vampire, but all their strengths. No, no, they started with Morbius. They, do they wanted to do, well, yes, yes. That's where, I'm sure, without, without you can't get Blade without Morbius. Yeah, there's, right. there's no question about it. <laughs> so Morbius gives him the slip, and he just hides from them until nightfall, when he turns into Morbius, and Wait, he kills everyone he, on the ship. He hides from them on the ship. Yeah. They can't find him on the ship. That's right. Even, he's really good at hiding <laughs> the, sh the ship, which is limited in extent. <laughs> yes, and these these seamen who all know <laughs> the ship. ship it is. <laughs> know every bulkhead. Yeah, that's Can't absolutely right. Find this him. ship, which is crammed with semen. This ship is overflowing with semen. As you can see from the narration, they just take for granted. They just assume he fell overboard, and they all just, just they just stop looking. They stop looking, and they all just like go hurrah! And oh, then, we got him! They're, yeah, they're villains in every Batman game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I heard a noise! I'm gonna search for you for 20 seconds. Yeah, I definitely saw him, but I don't see him anymore. So I guess he left. He must have left. Yep. So then Morbius just kills <laughs> everyone on the ship, and there's like montage Damn. of every member of the crew being like, please don't, and him just like murdering praying. them all. Oh my god. The image of him just grabbing this guy just is amazing. And he's like, yes, when I've he killed them. Oh my god, what have I done? I'm the horrible monster. No, not me. Oh, the pathos. Yeah, when let he Morbius is out, <laughs> his, van his clothes change. Yeah, well, uh, they're underneath his regular clothes. Those are... You can't hide a collar like that underneath your clothes. <laughs> and maybe it pops out. <laughs> Fung. Yeah, that's right. I live while they are dead. Only, I wish only that I were they. I'm like, oh. A complicated way to say that. It's, well, you know. In I am Hamlet, a vampire. <laughs> must speak in confusing words and such. No, he just wants to be poetic. Yeah. Stand just being like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, he, he, so he leaps overboard <laughs> and he swims to shore. Leaps overboard? That's the thing that got him in trouble in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but he was in a different he was in a different headspace when he first fell overboard. <laughs> and now he's fed. Now, yeah, he's fed, exactly. But he leaves and uh, he finds the Connor's house. And he's like, well, it's it's daytime, and I don't want anybody to see me or catch me, so I'll go into the Belfry, which this freaking house in the Hamptons has, <laughs> and he like sleeps until nightfall. Right. So now Morbius is in the same house as Spider-Man, who has been there for two days, using Connor's lab and all of his equipment and chemicals to try and come up with a cure for his arm problem. Ah. I find it funny he's still wearing the mask. Yeah. Well, that's because Morbius is about to come down and attack him, and we need so Spider-Man to fight So he can't know him. his identity. That's right. <laughs> Even though he would never know it because like. There's no way Morbius would recognize Peter Parker. Right. So uh, Spider-Man is trying. He's like, ah, I've done like you know a couple hundred experiments. If I'm right, this this liquid will clear, will, will turn blue. No, damn it! And uh, the the image of him like in despair, like the other arm helping him out, like holding his face <laughs> in anguish. Like it's okay, Spider-Man. And the, yeah, I know and one's petting his back. <laughs> the other one's just just petting just his massaging head. his shoulders. <laughs> But uh, the Mor Morbius is like, bleh, who's that? Like, oh, it could be. I, the, the costume seems familiar. I'm like, it's Spider-Man's costume. Yeah, you know Spider-Man. Yeah. Jesus, but, where were you born under a rock? <laughs> yeah, but I, but I, but there, well, he, Maybe. No, he wasn't. He's actually he was like- born in Russia or something? No, he's, no, he's- <laughs> I guess we'll find out. But he attacks Spider-Man because he needs, you know, he, he thirsts. Right. And unlike the cartoon, he does not have suckers on his palms that will extract plasma from his victims. Oh. <gasps> 
which, you know. <laughs> My goodness. Is actually more horrific, I think. Like, vampires are pretty ubiquitous in culture. Like, we get it. They fangs, they bite you, and nah, it's vaguely sexual. In the Spider Man animated series, to get past the censors, they were like, we want to use Morbius, but we also can't have him be a vampire in any way, shape, or form. And it's like, then don't use Morbius. There's like a thousand Spider Man villains. No, he's such a great character, though. Like, for the, for the amount of the censorship, for the amount of censorship the 94 Spider Man cartoon show had, they might as well use like Stilt Man, The Big Wheel, Rocket Razor. Like, why did you go <laughs> for Morbius within like the second season? But in any case, so they get past it, he has these leech-like suckers that appear and grow onto his palms. And then he must extract plasma from his victims. And it's like, that's way more yeah. horrifying I than mean, being bit by a van. He's like, Meh. And, he, and he has this like kind of a vaguely European, I must have plasma. And so he like grabs people and he's like, oh. He's also in love with Felicia Hardy, who in this cartoon show hasn't become Black Cat yet, and it doesn't matter. But like, she has this great name because saying it like, Felicia, because he's in love with her. But oh, what was me? Four, so he pronounces her name differently. Felicia, I must have plasma from my leech like sucker feet. <laughs> and it's like, that's so gross and horrifying. It's like an episode yep. of the X-Files. Yeah, that's yep. gross. That's that sounds cool. like... Way worse than just having him bite somebody. That sounds like intentional. It's like, yeah. oh, I specifically can't have vampires? Okay, fuck you. I'm going to make something ten times worse <laughs> that technically is allowed yeah. because you didn't say I couldn't. Right. Fuck you, censors. Fuck you. And that's it. That's yeah. what they did. So <laughs> Spider-Man fights Morbius, and Morbius is like, bleh. Because Spider-Man's yeah. like, I haven't slept in two days working on this cure. Yeah. I am not a top, I, I am not a top form. Even and though I got all these extra arms, I still can't beat right. Morbius. And that's Morbius right. isn't freaked out by the four extra arms? He does like refer to him as a freak, but <laughs> like that's it. Uh, You're calling me the freak? Oh yeah. Also, Mr. Pale? <laughs> also, Morbius has hollow bones. What? So he could fly. Which means it's He's not a bird, he doesn't no. flap his arms. No, he doesn't. He he glides. But he just straight up flies like Superman. But <laughs> if if he had hollow bones, the first punch would shatter him like a balsa wood table. Like he'd just be he'd be like, oh, he'd just be like he'd be a meat sack filled with fluid and bones. And so, dust. Yeah. So Morbius lays out Spider-Man and then Kirk Connors arrives and he's like, who are you and what are you doing in my house? And of course, like there's this creepy image of Morbius like, I'm going to bite him, bleh. And so he's like leaning over Spider-Man and, and Kirk Connors is just like, the, like a classic homeowner from the Hamptons being like, I, I say there, man, get out of my house. This is my place of residence. What are what you doing? What devilry is this? Yeah. You're breaking the law. <laughs> and so then Morbius is like, bleh. And he's like, oh shit, a fucking vampire. Little, Even though I don't know what that is, because you're the first one. Well, you're the first one that exists in reality, but I have a book. Like, I've existed <laughs> oh, in, right. in culture. Okay. So. But he's also agitated, which means the lizard persona is now going to come out. Oh. So he, I thought he cured himself. Yeah, you but... You liar. Well he, well, he thought he was, but, you know. Is lizard. this the first time he realizes he's not cured? Uh, yeah. Is oh, this shit. a defense mechanism where, like, if things get really hairy... Yeah, that's it. ...you can become the lizard again. Basically that. He's like, oh, no, the excitement and fear, it's changing me! And so he becomes the lizard as Spider-Man comes to. <laughs> so now he's in the middle of a grudge match between a vampire and a monster lizard, and he's like, oh, no! Oh, that's okay. No. He's got enough arms for each one of them yeah. and yeah. to make a sandwich. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's true. So, like, that's the big cliffhanger of Amazing 101 is that, you know, <laughs> Spider-Man has to fight Morbius and the lizard... In Amazing Spider-Man 102, we conclude it. And in the conclusion, we also give you the backstory of who Morbius is, what his whole sh what his whole deal is. Right. Mor Michael Morbius was a Nobel Prize winning scientist. Oh. Who had a rare blood disorder that caused his Morbius-like appearance. Mm -hmm. And also- oh, he looked like that normally. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. So he looked like that and also he was dying. Like this blood affliction that no one else has from the is blood killing disease. Him. From yeah. the, blood, the, the, the weird that, blood disease. Yeah, yeah that, so, it's called vampirism. <laughs> yeah. No, he's not a vampire. Remember, he's a living vampire. That's right. a science fiction. Completely vampire. different. No, I'm saying, he totally just needs different. fresh blood all the time. Well, yeah. after he tries to cure himself of his blood affliction, you see, that's the thing. So, Morbius, as a man, Dr. Michael Morbius, he charters a private yacht stacked with special technology that he has invented to help cure his affliction. Okay. So Morbius brings along on his like yacht, his experiment, experiment yacht. his experimental yeah. yacht. Uh, he brings back Nikos, his lab partner, who knows about his affliction and knows about the, the experiments they're going to uh, conduct. Yeah. And Martine, his fiance, his beautiful doomed fiance. Oh, who loves him even though he looks like Morbius. Yes. Okay. Yes, and he used his Nobel Prize money and more to charter the yacht because he needs to be on the ocean 
to get away from everybody to do his <laughs> oh, experiment. International law. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> it's just so that he could be in the ocean, so that he can right. appear in this So that book. if he turns yeah. into a monster, there's no one around to kill other than uh -huh. his friends and fiance. Yeah. And I'm strong-willed enough to not do that. That's right. So he... Oh, no, I'm not. Nope. So he invents <laughs> this, like... So he, he goes through science, and he takes, right. like, a special concoction and also puts on a special suit which is this outfit that will contain him and then a special <laughs> suit outside of that that contains the... It's so that he could take off the suit that he wears and then they go, ah, oh, you're wearing your other suit that protects you from this, like, from the electroshock. It's like, nah, man, I'm going to the disco. Right, yeah. No, he is heading to Studio 54. We, we chartered this, this is a party yacht. Look We're gonna this. take this to, the, to Manhattan Harbor. We're gonna let every swinger on. <laughs> After I've cured my rare blood disease. Right. Oh, yeah. And if Which not, I definitely will. I'll let them all on, but no one will get off. Hey, well, <laughs> everyone, everyone will get, get off. Win, win. You know, but no, no one will what, leave the boat. No one will leave alive. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he, he conducts the experiment, and of course, he becomes Morbius. Right. Like, that's it. So instead of curing his blood disease, it causes him to drink blood. Right. That's right. Something about blood. And it's funny. It, it, it does it, something to blood, but you know, not what he wanted. Fate was very busy during these two issues. Uh -huh. Where he was like, ah, Spider-Man wants to get rid of his powers. How about more spider? He Don't... wants to cure his blood disorder? I'll make it a thousand times worse. That's oh, right. And now and he has to Thomas kill people himself? to stay alive. No, you didn't. Lizard. <laughs> yep. Well, he's strained too hard on the toilet. Now you're a lizard. I didn't forget about you, Connors. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else want to fuck you with me? You didn't do anything wrong? You're still the lizard. No, again. no. For the love of God, stop. <laughs> yeah. Don't go against your basic nature. <laughs> Morbius immediately kills Nikos. Yeah, he's he strangles him to death. I love he's like he could just he could just bite him. Cause yeah, and because that's his nature. Well, he's like he's gonna get him to eat him, but then he like strangles him to death. He's, oh no, Nikos, no! <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? And I then no way on uh, He's like, oh, I, I should go to uh, Martine, my my love. She's so warm and and soft and mm. no. And then he jumps overboard to uh, kill himself. Right. He's like, I'll drown in the ocean. So he leaps off the yacht and and tries to drown himself. Right. Then he gets under the water. He's like, oh, no, I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that, that was awful. That, okay. that was oh, horrifying. Uh, apparently, that really it's hurt. really hard to drown yourself. Yeah, yeah. apparently oh you can't just hold your head underwater. <laughs> your <laughs> body will like in instinctively be like, don't. Yeah. yeah. It's this crazy reaction. Yeah. So he gets up and he's like, no. Also, uh, I'm just going to drink blood. Fuck it. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, gets... I tried one thing to kill myself. It didn't work. I guess this is me. Full now. vampire. So he immediately gets picked <laughs> up by those guys in this issue. And then, you know, the rest is history. Right. So, Wasn't there some issue we Red were like, yes, he like yeah, a what drank issue. sharks. Yeah, no, he got eaten by sharks. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the issue. It's, it, it's this one. It's where yeah. he gets the six arms. It's what if he kept them? Yeah, yeah. What if he kept the arms. What That's if he right. kept the arms? Yeah, Marvius just gets eaten by sharks. <laughs> yeah, instead of like making it to shore, he's <laughs> yeah. eaten by sharks. Just devoured by sharks. <laughs> yeah. What if Spider-Man keeps his arms? I'll tell you what. Uh, Morbius is eaten by sharks. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming. Also, what so if we dodge a big bullet and don't have a lame villain like Morbius show up? <laughs> so you're telling me. That Morbius and Connors team up and get rid of Spider-Man's extra arms. Yeah, they rip them off. No. <laughs> they cure <laughs> him. They fight him. No, they don't. No, no, no they don't. But they they don't. don't? They do, kind of. Well, so, uh, you know, so now we caught up on what Morbius is all about. Right. And there's a tie-in. You enjoy the movie. So uh, then <laughs> Spider-Man... And there's like, a boat in it. You're welcome. Yeah. Hey. Oh. So Spider-Man fights the lizard and Morbius. Oh, maybe and the lizard will show up. No. There's no friggin' way. So Spider-Man fights the lizard, and the lizard, of course, like, lizard's whole thing isn't that he wants to make more lizards, it's that he, like, hates warm-blooded creatures. He's like, ah, the, the pink skins and the warm bloods, like, ah, I hate them, right. I'm the lizard. Yeah, I'm a lizard, and I'm a reptile. Reptiles are natural Naturally, enemies, natural of, enemies mammals. Of, of mammals. Right. Absolutely. Oh, obviously, nice. but I also travel down to Florida in the winter. Yeah. Well, you gotta be warm. Well, <laughs> that, was, that was Connor's decision. But, uh, <laughs> so, so, you know, there's a big fight, and, uh, Spider-Man lays out Lizard, and then Morbius like, oh ho, and then he bites Lizard. Like, he's gonna drink his blood. Uh -huh. And Spider-Man's like, hey, get away from him! So then Morbius like, I'm going to leave. Goodbye. <laughs> like, before he leaves, Spider-Man goes, ah, jeez, this guy's gonna fucking leave. <laughs> and so he goes, wait, you fascinate me. Tell me more. And Morbius goes, no, you're just trying to get me to stay. And so he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> that interaction is just like... That's awesome. Inspired right no. stand. No. You, wait, uh, you fascinate me. I hope someone uses that as a line. Like, your date is going just completely south, and she's like, wait. I am out of here. Wait, you fascinate me. <laughs> Drink. Huh? Ugh. What do you say to that? Connors wakes up, and he goes from being lizard to half lizard, half Connors. The arm is still shriveled up and gone, but 
Connors has scales like a lizard. So it's the worst of both worlds. Yes. <laughs> I don't even have another arm. <laughs> I'm just a weird looking dude. I look like a Ninja Turtle. So <laughs> Spider-Man and Connors are like together and Connors is like, ah, oh, geez, you got four arms is nuts. I, you know, you should have asked me for your help. Uh, meanwhile, we got to help me because I'm a friggin' I'm a scaly monster. Right. Uh, but he has his consciousness left. And he's like, but anything could turn me. Like I could, I could lizard out at any moment. Right. But we gotta... We gotta so this is, they gotta help each other. Yeah, so right. Spider-Man and Connors team up and get back to trying to solve the forearm issue, but Spider-Man's more working on the cure lizard problem. Okay. It's like, okay, well, my forearms can... I, I can. I have an indefinite stay at the Hamptons house, so I'll work on the forearms in a minute. Well, now, and Connors Car is like, I didn't say it was indefinite. Yeah, whoa, dude. Uh, the, you know, the summer season's coming. I, I have <laughs> renters here. But no, he's like working on the lizard formula, and while they're working on it, it's, it's not working. And every time that he gets frustrated, he becomes more lizard, and then it's like, ah, I'm gonna bite you! Oh, jeez, calm down, calm yeah. down. And he calms down, but then he is the lizard, and right. he stays as the lizard, but he's also Connors, and he's like, oh no, I could freak out and lizard out at any moment. I mean, I am a lizard, but I might be like a jerk lizard and bite you. So, right now I'm a science lizard. Yeah, I'm a, very different. I'm a science lizard. <laughs> And, uh, and, and it's great because he's like, I wish I could help you, but my blasted scaly lizard fingers, they're, they're, they don't <laughs> work so test clumsy. tubes. And he's like, yeah, but I got four arms, so like it's actually doing your work for you. Six arms. Yeah, yeah. four extra arms. Four extra arms. But yeah. uh, they're, they're, you know, so he's working on it, and, uh, and they, they, they inevitably come to the conclusion that like the reason why he was even half cured was because Morbius bit him but didn't drink him. And so like a snake or any other creature that like bites you and secretes a kind of enzyme... Oh, it's like breaking him down? Yeah, like... it's like, well, it's that Morbius naturally generates an enzyme that could be used to cure his affliction. Oh, but instead it's turning him into a, more of a lizard. Well, no, he he, <laughs> because he, he went from a full him. lizard to a half man, half lizard. You oh, know, he got right, the scales. right. Yeah. You know, but then he got agitated, so he became more so of a lizard. To go but back like, to if we lizard. use the oh. enzyme that Morbius makes, maybe we can concoct a cure for the yeah, lizard. Yeah, but I don't understand because right before he got there, he wasn't at all a lizard. No, but he's so why, also. Why don't they just do the thing turned, they did to do oh, to make him not a lizard well, in the first place? You know, they don't really explain that, but my <laughs> argument would be that you know it, it doesn't work. It doesn't anymore. work every time. Like you know, right. there's a new version yeah, of the lizard. Diminishing right? return. Yeah, oh. you can't just keep using the same thing. You right. gotta have a, a stronger dosage. Like it never was gonna. Take. It was never gonna stay. Yeah. Right. So, Lizard is like, we gotta go get Morbius. So I was really hoping that would also be the cure for Spider-Man yeah. until like he's in a fight and he's really stressed out, and then like four more just pop out. It's like, <laughs> damn it, no! Damn it, I gotta stop See, taking stuff without trying it. That would be amazing. Animals. That's a that, you know what? That's a that's an Easter egg. Like use that someday. Yeah. Just, I haven't been that stressed yet, but kapow. <laughs> what if every attempt to cure his extra arms caused him to grow even more arms? <laughs> Oh my well, God. Yeah, just bloom, bloom. Spider Man, but every time he like drinks something, well, he gets like two additional arms. Until he's nothing but like a uh, a koosh ball of he's, arms. He's just sits at elbows. <laughs> he's like the critter ball. He's just rolling through Manhattan. <laughs> In the Spider-Man animated series, when they adapted the six-armed Spider-Man story, because of course they did, uh -huh. because how else are they going to introduce Morbius? <laughs> I mean, you could just linked. bring him in, I mean, or they, don't. They, no, they do. They introduce him as like a as a grad student that's like gunning for Peter's position at the science, whatever. It doesn't matter. But uh, uh, basically, the six arms are the 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 beginning phase of a uh, evolutionary process that will inevitably turn Spider-Man into Man Spider. Oh. So. Actually, like they try to like bridge two gaps where yeah. they're like, okay, like there is a man spider, we want to use that because there's action figures that we want to make of man spider, and <laughs> and uh, that is like with a spider head. Yeah, he is right? like full on monster Spider Man. So yeah, but they're like the six arms are like a precursor. Yeah, they're not. That's, that's kind of cool. It's a neat idea. I was like, yeah. I, I was actually like, hey, wow, way to square that circle. Like that's yeah, kind of interesting. You got both those ideas in there. You did it in a and way you, more efficient way. Link, it, it, very efficient. Yeah. yeah. No, they, they 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 do a lot of good stuff like that. Where they like the alien costume saga. They're just like that eh, venom. And it's like <laughs> you still get all of it, and it still kind of works. Anyway, all without the Fantastic Four. <laughs> so. Uh, Morbius, he, you know, he's he's screwing around Manhattan. He's trying to bite people. There's right. a dude who is it's homeless. It's Manhattan in the 80s. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. You can bite anybody. It. 70s. It's Manhattan 70s. in the 70s. That's, it's even better. It's much yeah. worse, yeah. You don't even know that he's killed people. <laughs> no, it's, it's happened all the time. Yeah. No, just vagrants in the street. Yeah, yeah. there's a vagrant who is blaming hippies for taking all the jobs, and that's why he can't get a break. And he... <laughs> And he breaks into like the basement of actually Morbius breaks into the basement of this like tenement, uh -huh. and so he goes in. He's like, "Oh, somebody even broke in the door for me!" And he goes in, and he's like, "Oh!" And he gets eaten by Morbius. <laughs> so uh, you know, he gets his just desserts. Nice. But uh, 
you know, so Morbius has a dream, and the dream is the flashback sequence that explains his origins. And uh, meanwhile, Spider-Man... So Morbius, like, could, in a sense, solve the homeless problem <laughs> in New York. The, yeah, the same way that, like, euthanasia could solve the overpopulation problem. <laughs> it, 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 yes. It's like the opposite of uh, Lethal Protector in yeah. San Francisco. I mean, it's pretty. he's a pretty lethal protector in this. <laughs> but, uh, so, Spider-Man picks up the lizard with his four arms, mm -hmm. and the two of them go web-swinging across the city <laughs> looking for Morbius. And I love the image of Lizard being like, let's go, ah! <laughs> and like Spider-Man with his four arms, like holding the Lizard. I'd love it if he had his That's arms great. stretched out and he's like, this is amazing! Yeah. <laughs> and like the elation he feels yeah. from it reverts him back oh, to Dr. Connors. That, <laughs> I am so unstressed right now. Yeah. That was, you gotta do this more often. Yeah, man. you gotta do this for people. You gotta charge. Yeah, right? Instead, what happens is the lizard freaks out. He's like, wait a minute, what am I doing up here? You're Spider-Man. You're my most accursed enemy. So he tries to bite him, and then he just drops. And Spider-Man's like, ah, oh, jeez. So he Come on, Doc. So he, like, web lines lizard, and then he's like, what am I doing up here? Oh, God, Spider-Man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, Spider-Man's like, this is oh, my life. Jesus. Uh, uh, the space of, like, three panels, he switched like sides like three times. I would have been better just staying home yeah. and yeah. ordering takeout. He's like, no, for a week. you know what, lizard? Ugh. There you go. <laughs> that solves that problem. I solved a big problem. No, I need the you know, I need his oh, brain to need help me come up with this plan. Uh, but, uh, you can collect the brain afterwards. No, <laughs> it's not for experiments. I need to like, think of things. Oh, oh, he's dead. I need it on the inside of his head. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the the bugle keeps getting reports. Actually, I think TV is getting reports. They're, they're, the news is getting reports about there being like a, a monster swinging through the through Manhattan, huh. which is just like a silhouetted combination of a lizard man and a six armed Spider Man. Uh, Gwen has, a little, has the barest minimum of a subplot where she goes, you know what? Like Peter flies off the handle sometimes. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give him a hard time. Like maybe he's stressed out. He said he was going away. You know what? Like I know who he would tell. I'll ask Aunt May. So he, she, so she calls Aunt May and she's like, Hey May, like where's Peter? I just staying? wonder if you knew where Peter was going. Yeah, and she goes, uh, what? Peter, what? Peter's not going anywhere, my dear. And she goes, Oh well, if he was going anywhere, you're the person he'd tell. So uh, I guess he just lied to me. <laughs> yeah, bingo. And so just more of a complex for Gwen. Oh God. Peter no, doesn't even know. The solution is you just go to his apartment. You wait for him to come back. This, which in many bed. women do when? in this book, like throughout. Yeah, I'll she, just wait three days, yeah, it would four, take five. Days. <laughs> I got a life to get back to. Yeah, yeah. come on, oh, Peter, hurry the hell up. I'll just set up shop here. Right, just I like, live here now. Yeah, Freeman's birthday was over like five <laughs> days ago. <laughs> Man, can you fucking imagine? Oh you come God. back from vacation and your girlfriend's yeah. just waiting for yeah. you in there. Well, how long have you been here? Oh, oh, like three, four days. What the fuck? That okay? <laughs> Spider Man and the Lizard track down Morbius and they like attack him. And, and they, then they steal his blood. They, yes. <laughs> they beat him up and they steal it. No, I thought it was his enzyme. No, yes. They steal his blood and Spider-Man's like, we need to extract the enzyme. And Lizard's like, no time! And just puts his blood into a vial he kept of the cure. <laughs> and we're like, I gotta inject it into myself right now! Oh, and he Jesus. does, and it cures himself like, within a panel. He goes, wow, I can't believe it worked that fast. <laughs> Also, I'm feeling very thirsty. Yeah, and now it's a vampire lizard. That'd be amazing, but it, no. Instead, lizard's just cured. And Spider-Man's yeah. like, hey, you know, that enzyme worked. Maybe it'll work on me. So uh, Morbius is like, screw you and your enzyme. And he steals the vial, like the vial for Spider-Man to like help work in That's his fair. Car. It is his bodily fluids. Yep, it's my stuff. Yeah. Uh, so he leaves, and then Spider-Man webs onto him and like rides him for a while. <laughs> And uh, nice. while they're sailing through the city, Spider-Man's like pulling him off trajectory. And he, he's, uh, oh, by the way, while Spider-Man and Lizard had a minute to themselves, they, they recognize Morbius and like, oh, that's the Nobel Peace Prize. That's the Nobel Prize winning scientist, Dr. Michael Morbius. Like, now that we know who you are, maybe we can help cure you. Yeah. And he's like, oh, blah, you can't, no. And so, no. They, so they're, they're flying. No, I'll kill you in my sleep yeah. or something. Right, so they're, they're flying. And Spider-Man throws him off course and then, he causes Morbius to just, just, just bird into a into a bridge. <laughs> he's literally like holding. He's like, yeah. he just like, he like he's, stares like, him. He into thinks something. he's gonna swing under it. Just, yeah. and he just lands in the river. And Spider-Man's like, oh no, oh, he's no, sinking. He's drown. And I, he has hollow bones. He's sinking like a stone. And he has hollow bones. He should be less dense. I know. So he's just so he's, so he's sinking. And Spider-Man tries to web line to save him, but instead he misses and hits the vial he needs with the enzyme he wants. 
<laughs> and uh, he just takes it and he says, and he, I love it, he takes the enzyme, he takes the vial. And he, oh, well. Right. Well, <laughs> well, he takes it and he goes to Connors and he's like, it's my fault. Maybe I killed him on purpose. I don't know. I mean, I tried to save him, but I went for the enzyme. And, like, I don't know if that was unconscious or if that was on purpose. I don't know what I'm doing. And Connors just goes, hey, you're going to lose if you don't worry about it. <laughs> You know what would be great? Did you get the enzyme? Take the shit. Like, Just wait drink a minute. it. You got the vial, right? Right. What are you, what are you complaining about? <laughs> if he webbed him. And then one of the extra arms grabbed the vial. Like, no. And he's just like, just held him down. <laughs> stop, no! stop, no, what are you doing? The other two arms are yeah. fighting off his arms. I have to get rid of these arms, they're murderers. Oh, no, wait, it wasn't me. The it was arms the arms. Did it. <laughs> so, you know. And like one of the arms won't let go of the vial. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, so Connors is just like, down the hatch. So Spider Man drinks it and he's like, and he, and he feels extreme pain, has visions of arms and hands, and then they just, they're just gone. Now, it would be great if they just fell the fuck off, but <laughs> they're just, they just evaporate like a wish or a dream you had. No, they go back into his body where they can. Yeah, they just <laughs> suck back in. So yeah. that they can come out another Jesus. time when he's very stressed. Exactly, exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I mean, did counter scales just fall off of him? Right. They just disappeared. Did his arm like no, no. no so just, it, yeah, Spider-Man's no. arms wouldn't just come off like no, that's weird true. limbs. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. <laughs> it's funny, they just, they just don't show it. They just go to a close up of his head. Yep. And then like his vision with the hands, yeah. and then they're just gone. And they're just gone. You know what it was? <laughs> yeah. He was unconscious for a long time. Connor just sawed him off. Yeah. Yeah. With a okay, bone saw. Out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's All out. that did was knock him out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was just. <laughs> I didn't have anesthesia at the at the Hampton House, so. <laughs> Wow, I wake up and my arms are gone. Yeah. And I'm covered in bandages. Yep. <laughs> we, and they're soaked in blood. Yeah, what? I just invented Thorazine and just fucking knocked you out, your ass out. <laughs> and I sawed off your arms. Yep, just leave those bandages on for a good uh, ah, like four six months. months. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and then they muse about like the folly of man or whatever, and the book's <laughs> over. And that's it. And they're like, I guess Morbius is dead. What was the meaning of all that? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Probably nothing. That is the, the first appearance of Morbius. He will return. In another story, maybe we'll do it on another episode of Back Issues if anybody wants to see more Morbius. <laughs> Especially in the context of Spider-Man, which is the only reason to see Morbius. <laughs> because he's not a fun anti-hero. Nobody cares. I don't want to see a movie with Morbius in it. <laughs> but Jared Leto! Oh! oh, I hope he does a song for the album. I really hope that costume shows up in the movie. There's no way. <laughs> like as a, fuck, as a joke. Yeah, yeah, it's like a costume oh, that no, he wears. Oh, no, there's no way so that like this costume won't Halloween be in the movie, but he's not going to wear it. Like... But I right. love they try They'll to even see justify. it on a mannequin or something and be like, Bleh. yes. Some woman is going to show. Elvira oh. will be wearing it. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> I'd love to see. I, yeah, I'd see Elvira in that. Have you seen that plunging neckline? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so there you have That's it. That's less plunging than her normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Morbius has more modesty than Elvira. <laughs> That's okay. But I love it, like, they're just like, okay, he's got six arms. Like, yeah, that's pretty messed up. And Morbius. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. And, and lizard. the lizard shows up. And we still have time. We smash these action figures into each we other. Have, we have time to work in Gwen. There's yeah, even a, there's some Gwen stuff. There's a sub-subplot of J. Jonah Jameson worrying about the death of print and the rise of video media. Yeah. Because, like, other stories are covering the monster flying around New York. Yeah, yeah. he can't get pictures. And, yeah. like, the, the news is scooping him. Literally, at the, in, in the next issue, he's just like... We gotta get into TV. Yeah, by the time this runs, everyone already moved on that's, to the next thing. That's right! And it's like, wow, that's prescient. Like, that's the future. Yeah. Way to go, JJ. That's insane. I know. Yeah, but who fucking cares? <laughs> Well, thanks a lot for hanging out with us. And if you want to check out more, go to youtube.com slash comicpop and subscribe. I promise we make uh, at least one of these a week. It's this. It's, th it's, just, it's just this. this. It's, it's just this. this. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully like a quarter of you will like it. <laughs> but uh, Here's the thing. We have a lot of episodes for you to choose That's from. That's true. That's right. Yeah, there's hundreds of episodes for yeah. you to enjoy, but half of them are Batman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but you know, once a week, check us out. Come on. Why not? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. A lot of fun. Come on. Hey. Come on. Between come the three on. of us, we have six arms. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. What the fuck? Yeah, we don't practice. Yeah, it's unscripted. I'm sorry. That's what happens. That's what happens when you have an unscripted show. People are like, this show sucks. Yeah. Uh, 